While traveling, Buddha reached a village. Their crowd of people gathered to listen to his discourse. In discourse, Buddha was teaching people about tolerance and forgiveness. He said, Anger is fire, which not only burns others but will also burn oneself to ashes. So renounce anger and be forgiving. An angry person was also sitting among those listening to the discourse. Hearing those words, he stood up and said hoarsely, I have never seen such a hypocritical beggar. For your selfishness, you are spreading misleading things in the village. Are you not ashamed? Buddha heard him but didn't react. He was as calm as before. Seeing this, that person's anger increased and he went away after spitting on the face of Buddha. Still, Buddha remained calm. He finished his discourse. Later, along with his disciple, he started to walk toward another village. After coming home, that angry person kept thinking about Buddha for a long time. As his anger started to subside, he started to repent, thinking about what he said and did to Buddha. He immediately went back to the place where Buddha was giving his discourse, but he got news of his departure. All night, the man kept cursing himself. The next day, he went to the neighboring village looking for Buddha. There he found that Buddha was giving discourse to the people of that village. Seeing Buddha, he went to him and grabbed his feet weeping and started apologizing to him. Man replied, You don't recognize me. I am the same person who misbehaved with you yesterday. What I did was wrong. I have come to ask for your forgiveness. Buddha calmly said, Brother, the yesterday you are talking about has passed. I have moved on, leaving all the incidents and things of that yesterday. Now I am present. Why are you staying in yesterday? You have repented of what you did yesterday. Your heart has been purified. Now leave those things there and come into the present and improve your present by doing good deeds. Why destroy your present by remembering the past? Hearing those words of Buddha, tears started flowing from that person's eyes. While bowing down to him, he said, From now on, I will renounce anger and incorporate love and compassion into my life. I will make my life better by my actions so that there is no remorse for anything in life. So the learning from this story is that, often, keeping the mistakes made in life in our hearts, we carry that burden of guilt for life and keep burning in the fire of remorse. An error that has occurred cannot be rectified. Therefore, we should move forward in life with the determination not to repeat it again. We have no control over what has passed. The present is under our control. Why not make your present